or I'll get knocked out trying to get it. Round one, the WBC Bridgerweight title on the line. Oscar Rivas in the yellow trunks, trimmed with white. Ryan Rosicki in the all black. And Rivas comes out firing with that big overhand right. Rivas said that Rosicki will want to drag him into a war. And in his words, he said, I can't fall in line with his tactics. That said, right now, he's meeting Rosicki forehead to forehead in the center of the ring. A lot of late money coming in on Rosicki. Rivas started around a, a minus 1,200 favorite, now bet down to about minus 400, according to boxing expert, boxing betting expert, Jim Carras on Twitter. The physical size, and you can really see the physical size difference in there um, between Rivas and Rizicki. So far, decent work from each guy, feeling each other a little bit, but Pretty active by both guys. Rebus has landed some good, some good shots, as is Rizicki. Well, I know Rivas said he doesn't want to get dragged into a war, but Rivas hasn't taken too many steps here in this opening round. He is right in front of Rosicki. He just misses with a big right hand. Good body work by both men. Muziki giving as good as he's taking here in the opening round. He's a tough kid. He knows this could be a one in a lifetime chance. You know he's going to give 210% of everything he's got here tonight. And being the true warrior he is, he's not taking a backward steps. And those are big shots coming from Rivas earlier on here in the first round. Right hand snuck in there from Rivas between the gloves of Rosicki. Good uppercut on the inside from Rosicki there. Entertaining opening round. A oh, big right hand big connects. Right hand. Big left hook. Rosicki on wobbly legs. And Makes he is lucky one. that happened in the final 10 seconds. Let's take a look at that final flurry. Left hook and the overhand. Round two begins. We'll see if Rosicki is recovered. He's been in trouble in fights before. He's been cut. He's been hurt. And he's always bounced back, but he's never faced a full-blown heavyweight puncher like Oscar Kaboom Rivas. And not even just a heavyweight, Corey. The experience and the, the pedigree that Oscar Rivas has is something like Rizicki's never seen. The last fighter from Cape Breton to challenge for a world title was Jack Monroe in 1904. He was stopped by Jim Jeffries in a bid for the heavyweight title in the second round. It's sweeping left hook from Rivas. Rivas seemingly not concerned with Rosicki's power because he's standing flat-footed in front of him and catching these shots on his arms. Rizicki still pressing forward, working the body, working the jab, still stepping forward. I feel like Rivas is just waiting for a counter shot at this point. He knows he's a stronger guy. He knows he's a, the more skilled guy. I think he's just waiting for a counter shot to, as uh, Rizicki will slow down eventually by keep coming forward. Zicky's game at times in the cruiserweight division was kind of a 
take two or three to land one big one kind of approach. He can't play that kind of game against Oscar Rivas. Uppercut and a slapping right hand from Rosicki. Good shots on the inside from Rosicki. And what do you think about this strategy, Steve? Maybe trying to crowd Rivas a little bit. I think that's the, that's going to be good for him because when he's on the outside, on the outside, he's getting countered. Rivas was coming over top of that right hand. I think with um, Rizicki laying on his chest, laying on those little body shots on the inside and little shots inside, it's going to be beneficial until this fight slows down and Rivas maybe has a little bit of wind taken out of him. It's a good right hand from Rivas, but... A big uppercut in right hand. Left hook. Rizicki did land a right hand. Excuse me, but it was Rivas with three or four good power shots in return. Final 10 seconds of round two. Rosicki recovered well after being wobbled at the end of round one, but he's eating some heavy shots here to close out round two. Again, remember his words, I'm either going to get a knockout or get knocked out. And he's the type of guy, I believe him, he's a real warrior like that. He's an old school throwback fighter, and he'll go to the shield. Well, one thing that's interesting about Rosicki, you know, oftentimes you'll ask fighters to describe themselves, and almost every boxer alive will say, I'm a boxer puncher. Because they want you to know, hey, I can box, but I can yeah. crack a little bit. Rosicki doesn't even try and hide it. He says, I am a brawler. I'm a brawler puncher. That's it. Ooh, good Ooh, left, good hook left hook there. By Rizicki, counter left shot. And another one. These good work shots. here from Rizicki, I'll tell you that. These are the shots he's looking for. Rizicki is banking on standing in there and absorbing enough to wait out the opportunity to land shots like that. The best work of Rizicki, or from Rizicki to this point. Another left hook connects from Rosicki. Rivas going against what he said he would do in this fight, which is engage Rosicki in this kind of inside warfare. This is good work from Rosicki. Body, head, moving, landing clean shots. But as advertised, these guys are head to head in the middle of the ring, banging it out. Zicky really laying it on the line here. Gambling that he can outslug a big puncher like Oscar Rivas. Rivas seems to be breathing heavy. I don't know if I'm mistaken. I, I thought I saw the same thing. is good stuff from Rizicki, I'll tell you that. I thought the tide was turning really in a heavy way for Rivas, but it seems like Rizicki's turning things around here in this round. Yeah, this is a Rizicki round, at least to this point. And we've seen Rivas do some of his best work in the final 10 seconds of rounds. But a big bounce back from Rizicki, if he could keep this up. Terrific stuff from Ryan Rosicki. Stay away from those counter shots. It's a good spot from with that counter left hook. This is where Rosicki would have the best opportunity of winning this fight. And that was by far his best round of this fight. And again, Rizicki was charged and standing up waiting before the end of the break of that round, and Rivas was sitting on his stool. Let's 
see if Mark Ramsey, Oscar Rivas, will start to make some adjustments. Rivas tried to step back and counter, and now right back on the inside. You also have to wonder, does Rivas think he needs to make any adjustments, or is he banking on the fact that at some point, he's going to hurt Rosicki again? I wouldn't bank on that. This is a world title fight. You don't want to be giving away rounds or giving away anything in a world title fight. I just generally think that he might have blew off a little too much steam in the first couple rounds, and a big overhand right by Rosicki. Terrific shot from Rosicki. We mentioned the late money coming in on Rosicki over the last few days. This is what those betters were hoping for. Another and a right, big hand. right hand. And now it's Rosicki who's driving the action. A turn of events. Looked like a left hook that connected in there for Oscar Rivas. Can Rosicki keep this up for 12 rounds? He said they've been training for 15 rounds. Again, that old school mentality of Ryan Rosicki who says, I fight like Jack Dempsey. I am a brawler through and through. Well, this is his kind of fight. Rosicki is getting to the areas that he wants to be in. Now we'll see if he can pull it off and if he can keep this up for the remainder of the fight. In combination there from Rivas going back down to the body. But his punches don't seem to have the same effect as they, on Ruziki as they did earlier in the fight. Oh, and a big counter right hand for Ruziki. And his chest, and it's been working so far. Good work from Ruziki on the inside. Definitely some urgency in the corner of Oscar Rivas. Mark Ramsey giving him a little smack to send him out to the center of the ring for round five. This is our main event, the WBC Bridgerweight title on the line, and it has been a good one so far. Oscar Rivas, Ryan oh, Rosicki, who big lands a big hook. left hook. Both men working on the inside. Zicky's promoter Dan Otter called him a force of nature. He said it will take something special to deal with what Rosicky will bring here tonight. It well, sounded like hyperbole at the time, but Oscar Rivas, if he's going to win this fight, he's going to have to earn it. Rivas right now looking a little off balance, a little out of Looks sorts. tired, his mouth's open, he's breathing heavy, his shots don't have the explosive power that they did earlier in the fight. And Riziki seems fresh and motivated. He's pushing forward, landing strong shots. Well, remember, this is something new for Rivas in that he had to make weight. For all the talk about how he feels better at this weight, he still had to cut a few pounds to get onto the scales. You wonder if that has anything to do 
with how Rivas is looking right now because he is not looking fresh. There's better work from Rivas. See a leader Alvarez. Countryman cheering on Rivas. One of Rivas' best friends. Man who knows what it feels like to win a world title. Final 30 seconds of an all out slugfest here in our main event. Rivas catches Rosicki with a left hook. Some blood on the face of Rosicki as Rizicki he waves. Him on. He waves Rivas in. That's the type of mentality this kid has. I'm telling you, he's he's an old school animal. And Rosicki, because he brought him in to spar with the leader Alvarez to impersonate Joe Smith Jr. And we remember what happened in that fight. Joe Smith Jr. upsetting a leader Alvarez in that fight. So Mark Ramsey, despite what the odds said, he was taking. This fight very seriously. Ozicki bloodied and still coming forward. At the end of round five, though, Steve, we saw Rosicki take a backward step for the first time in a little while. A little it was bit. right around when that blood started to appear. Good shot from Rivas. Three good hard shots. It's kind of a half hook, half uppercut there from Rivas. And now back, forehead to forehead in the middle of the ring. Overhand right for Rivas. Even though this is bridge weight, there's still a little bit of a weight difference. And you see Rivas trying to lean on Rosicki a little bit, walking him back to the ropes. We haven't seen Rosicki in this position since the first round. Is it possible that Rivas has weathered the storm? Rizicki's still showing lots of speed and lots of energy in there, though. Final 30 seconds of round six. A better round for Oscar Rivas, but he's earning every inch against the heavy underdog Ryan Rosicki, who tries to step around oh. with a big left hook, but he gets caught with one from Rivas. Body shot on the inside from Rosicki. He will just not go away. Rosicki head down, just swinging right until the bell. And so Rivas' work from the previous round. And when he's done some of his better work, it's when he's taken almost a half step back. And then lets three or four shots go, absolutely. Go and he, he lands, he looks good and he wins the round, but he's not throwing a whole lot of punches. Seems like he's a little bit tired. I mean, both of these guys have fought like they don't have any idea about how to win this fight other than knocking the other guy out. That was plan A, B, and C, seemingly, <laughs> for Rivas and Rosicki. Ring size didn't matter. 
Good combination on the inside there from Rivas. Good left hook to the body. Well, Rivas has never been really a, a high work rate guy. In, in fact, that's been one of the criticisms of Rivas in the past, is that he hasn't thrown enough. Well, tonight, that certainly hasn't been the case, but it's a, it's a different approach from Rivas here tonight. Crowd cheering Kaboom in support of their man, Oscar Rivas. Riziki at times kind of using the, the cross arm defense on the inside, trying to ride with some of those shots. Both men digging to the body. Riziki back up, there's a beautiful left hook. Credit to referee Michael Griffin. Most of this fight has been happening right here. And forehead to forehead, glove to glove, and he's not breaking them up. As long as one arm is free, he's been letting them go. And Rivas lets a good uppercut go, and Rosicki now holding on. Toe to toe battle. Final 10 seconds of what has been an absolutely brutal fight between Oscar Rivas and Ryan Rosicki. Nice shots inside by Rivas. Brzezicki comes back. Both men digging hard shots inside. That uppercut from Rivas we saw a moment ago, that was probably the best shot of the round. But again. much changing here in round eight. We're right back to where we were. And certainly there are nuanced things going on on the inside, but both Stevie Bailey, Mark Ramsey, I mean, at this point, they're motivators on the inside. <laughs> trying to keep your guy up so that they can take part in this kind of battle. Oh, big right hand from Rosicki. After he pulled the glove down, Lomachenko's tough, and he lands the right hand. Rivas almost falling over with that left hook. Rosicki just smiles at him, and we're right back to the inside. Well, who knows what the future of the Bridgerweight division will hold, but we will always have this one. And if there's fights like this, I'm sure there's a future for it. I mean, this one could end right now, and it would be one of the better fights on Canadian soil in quite a while. Riziki talking to him. Riziki's talking to him. And that's the confidence that you want Riziki to find. Remember, Steve, we were talking about his pre-fight interview when he said, I don't know if I'll win. Riziki, I think, is finding that self-belief. He's walked through Rivas' shots. He was hurt. He's come back. And for... Various stretches in this fight has really been leading the action. That's not to say he's necessarily up on the scorecards here, but he's been able to initiate against a bigger man that, frankly, he was not supposed to beat here tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
There's still a lot of fight left, and this is anyone's, this fight's up for grabs for anyone who wants it, in my eyes. Three punch combination from Rivas, three punch combination from Rosicki. Short left hook on the inside from Rivas. Good body work from Rizicki. Rizicki goes for it all with a big right hand. Round nine begins. WBC Bridger weight title on the line. And as we mentioned, Steve, listen, you can think what you want about this division, about this belt. If there are valid points on either side, there are people in Boston that I respect on either side of this debate. But these two men tonight, they're fighting for a world title. This is a world title fight, and they are acting like it here in Montreal. Absolutely. WBC is one of the most recognized world titles out of them all. Um, and they made this division, and it's here, and it's going to be a, a real world champion here tonight. Who that is, we'll see in three or four more rounds. Now, whoever it is, you won't be able to tell them that they didn't earn it. Rivas offers a couple jabs, but he's not in the range where a jab can really play a factor at that point. He's kind of in no man's land as far as landing a jab goes. Rivas trying to get some space, but Rosicki just not allowing it. Zicky missed over the top with a big right hand. Mouth wide open on Rivas, and understandably so. This has been brutal stuff from round one onwards. Yeah, these guys have been on each other's chest nonstop, hard shots on the inside. Rizicki's just got to keep doing what he's doing. I think that Stevie Bailey's going to be happy with him, like we heard earlier, him laying on the chest. But Rivas has got to step back and start throwing some explosive combos like it was earlier in the fight and try to catch Rizicki or go between his guard. Combination to the body from Rivas. Now comes upstairs with a couple uppercuts. And Rizicki just has that gene that forces him to throw back whenever he gets hit hard, and usually throw back in combination. Right hand right at the bell from Rivas. Rivas to let go of that overhand right. some of these replays, when they're in close quarters like that, just saw it a moment ago, that's about as much it's going to be a tough shot to get off. Exactly. Like I said, this is the perfect game plan in Riziki, and that's why he's doing and that's why he's looking good and winning, or doing really well. But Rivas has got to create that little bit of space where he can get his shots off and throw in threes and fours, instead of being just pressed up against Riziki and his gloves. A win or lose, Ryan Rosicki with this effort, even to this point, 
has probably altered the trajectory of his career. Absolutely, to come into a world title fight with a guy like Oscar Rebus, with the pedigree he has, and put on this sort of performance, there's no question in my mind that his stock has gone through the roof. Let's not give out consolation prizes quite yet, because this, <laughs> as you mentioned... Far from over. And it's also a nightmare to score. These are the most difficult fights to score. Some inside fights like this, it's a little easier to score because one guy's moving forward, another guy's moving backwards, so you kind of give the tiebreaker to the person who's applying the pressure for ring generalship. But when you have two men who just meet in the center of the ring, <laughs> And it's you go, then I go, and you're both landing hard stuff. That it's, is not easy to judge. It is not easy to judge at all. Zicky tries to wrap that right hand around the guard of Rivas once again. These two men have kept just an incredible pace for the number of power shots they've thrown. And how did Rosicki stand up to that left That's hook? Up. And these guys aren't throwing pitter pats. They're inside ripping hard shots from start to finish of every round. Good, Good counter, counter right hand. And now Rivas takes a step back. And we get a few seconds of fighting at range. Incredible fight so far. The urgency in Mark Ramsey's voice tells you a lot. Championship rounds in this WBC Bridgerweight title fight. people who wrote off this title, this division, in their words, as a joke. But this fight, this fight is no joke. And this is playing out like an old school championship fight. starting to create a little bit more space. But does he have the gas to stay out there? Two beautiful jabs. Arriva said after shedding the excess weight that he would put on for heavyweight that he'd be faster, that he'd be quicker. We haven't really had a chance to see that outside of hand speed on the inside. But now... Seems like a little bit fatigued, but some good clean shots landed for both men there. But pouring down the face of Rosicki now. That's what he wants, that's what he loves, that's what fuels him. A 
Less than a minute left to go here in the 11th round. Overhand right from Rivas. Rosicki is hurt, but he's firing back. How did he stay up? Those were powerful shots. Right hand, left hook, uppercuts. And he's still throwing back. Just an unbelievable display of toughness from Ryan Rosicki here tonight. But also some good work for Rivas there, some good clean shots. Could have clinched a round. Every round at this point I think is going to be important for these guys. Well, this adjustment that Rivas made, taking a step back and measuring Rosicki with his jab, being able to throw his jab. Creating that distance helped him. You have to wonder, was this something he could have done? Some of the best work of the fight from Oscar Rivas as he is on the back foot, popping the jab, and then getting the space to do that. And mm. We showed a whole highlight reel. Ryan Rosicki stood up to it. And, and against, kept coming forward. Against all odds, here we are in the 12th round. A tremendous back and forth battle between Oscar Rivas and Ryan Rosicki. A cuffing right hand shot from Rivas. He's trying to get some space to let his punches breathe. Maybe to let himself breathe as well. Yeah, Zicky just, the ground. Yeah, just tosses Rivas to the canvas. And let me